Just stay like that and let the doc examine you and we'll be good. I've got my service dog, Ava. I have severe PTSD and fear of people, so for a long time I couldn't leave my house. Ava was originally a rescue, so not only did I rescue her, she rescued me because now I have my college degrees, which I couldn't have done prior to having her. Hey, hey. Hello. What's up, what's up, what's up? I'll get down there and talk to me on this baby. She's got right here on her knee, mm -hmm. she's got a gross, yep. and she's got another one on her foot. She'll chew on it and the bugs won't leave it alone. She's got some gross and some irritation on her skin. Well, I was worried she was getting yeast back. When I got her, she looked like this over her whole body. And they said it was yeast. Yeast infections in dogs, especially in the warmer climates, are quite common. But I need to take a closer look and see if there's anything else going on. Hey. I know. I know. I know. I know. It's a man, and he's touching you. Service dogs can be a little skeptical, so I need to really be careful so I can keep my hands when dealing with this cute pup. Are we licking our paws? Yes, constantly. So your primary problem is Georgia. Basically allergies. Give me one second, okay? All right. Come on, sweetie. We're gonna make you feel so much better. Ava has something that I constantly refer to as Georgia disease. And basically that's allergies. You agree with me, huh? They start to itch. Once they itch, it breaks the skin. They get secondary yeast and bacteria infections. Ava is a service dog. We need to get Ava fixed up in a hurry so she can get back to her regular job. You gotta be there. Let's make an impression with tape. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you use something as simple as good old tape. You just make an impression and you look under the microscope and you can see if you have yeast. Tape impressions, good old old school method. So who do I know around here? that knows old school medicine. Old man, Terrence. Let me see if he still remember this. Trying to see if you remember the old impression smell. Yeah, with a little tape. You got in? Oh, uh, I think I can still rustle got, up something for you. You still got your skills. I can handle that. It's we'll see, it's been about, what, 75 years since you graduated? Yeah. Let me ride in here, sir. Spread out right now. Yes, yeah, sir. So while you check that out, I'm on. I'm gonna go ahead and take this to my while you do that. All right, go ahead. Peplum can pop up everywhere. Oftentimes, animals will chew them and they'll start to bleed. So, definitely need to remove these raised leashes. So, we're just gonna deaden this area. I'm just gonna put this in. We use lidocaine and deaden that area around so the animal feels no pain. Then I'm gonna cut these papillomas off. All right, this puppy shouldn't feel anything. Perfect. Look at that, perfect. Great job, puppy dog. Oh, he's a great surgeon. Which one do you think? Surgery. Prep work. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I think it's surgery. You think it's the prep work? Yeah, I think it's probably the dog, too. I think it's the dog, yeah. It's a great dog. Hey, just look at the image. It's already focused. Let me see if, really, let you can see if there's some yeast there. The growth removal went really smoothly. Now it's time to move on to a tape test to see exactly what we have on that smear. Hmm. Terrence, you see anything? Uh, nothing of significance. So what's wrong with the patient? You yeah, have just a callus on his elbow. That's what it is. Callus on so, the elbow? Yeah, that was a callus. Just an old dog with callus. But I mean, it's some normal bacteria here, too. OK. But I don't see yeast, which is what I was thinking I might see yeast right. on the elbow. I trust you. I don't know about the guy to your left, but I definitely trust you. The smear test comes back, and Dr. Ferguson doesn't see any kind of yeast, so we're probably just dealing with a secondary staph infection. I feel with some allergy medicine and antibiotics, this baby should be excusing them really soon. So, Cal, what type of shampoo would you recommend? We could do the keto gonazole one. What about the Chlorhex? Chlorhex, it's 4%. OK, I've never seen that one. Go look in the cabinet. I think that's the one I'm going to go with. OK. Well, I'm feeling really good about Ava's prognosis. We got that little tumor off. We got something to control the itch. Hey, what's up, man? Come on over here. <laughs> so somebody's in my camera line actually dancing on doing the, the what you call that? <laughs> See, what you, you like that one? So, <laughs> so yeah, we have the soul train line. That's it, man. Come on. You gonna rock, then you gonna go down the middle? <laughs> Come on over here. <laughs> I'm done. Sometimes we have the soul train line, but seriously though, while I'm trying to take this thing off, he's over there doing my lab work and vice versa. So it ain't a critter fixer, it's critter fixers. Teamwork what? Make the dream work. All right. There she is. So there's no yeast. So we got that little tumor off. The itch is the problem, which leads to everything else. Yes. 
take this shampoo. This is the one I want. I've okay. used this. This okay. is good stuff. Yes. That's going to kill all the bacteria and everything on the skin. OK. You should notice it pretty quick, the itching stop. Things went much better than expected. I'm actually quite happy. <laughs> because with her background and her history, it could have been so much worse. And these are just our normal vaccines. Yes, sir. She did amazing. I mean, like, not one growl back there. I mean, she. <laughs> <laughs> you go over there to Mama now. I did. We'll see y'all later. Thank you so much. No problem. I've had a lot of vets that won't see Ava because they get down in her face yeah. and she growls when she's by me. So they're like, hands off, and then they don't give her a proper examination. And Dr. Hodges ignored her and just did what he needed to do, <laughs> which was really nice. Thank you.